The preceding data acquisition will be used to determine any modifications needed before this rocket burner ships out to the customer. What we're looking at here is a surface mix oxygen burner that has two oxygen lances facing at a 45 degree angle and pinging about three inches in front of the nozzle. What's up fellas? We're back out here at White Sands Proving Grounds. We have a special build here, a custom build for Thomas. He's going to be smelting a large amount of cast iron. So we have a very large rocket burner here. This is a surface mix burner. We have two oxygen lances in the face here. And they meet up about right here. So they kind of shoot out at an angle to converge. That's a refractory end. And we're going to be running this thing on a leaf blower and a pressure washer to save about $3,000. So... Let's see what we got here. There you go. Maybe we'll make this the thumbnail. So it lit right up without any problems. We're, we're not running on oxygen yet. We'll get to that. That's serious thrust. We got a lot of moisture coming out of that concrete. I figured I better back off a second. I haven't given that time to cure. We just kind of went right into it there. I also want to try some air in those lances as well from an air compressor. All right, we're just going to do a simple melt and blast test. We're not trying to make anything today. We're just trying to proof the equipment. So we're going to throw a top over this with a vent. And um, we're going to try and melt down these brake rotors. Ground forge is in place. Got our brake rotors in there. And we're just going to try and melt these bad boys down. Now, the furnace may not be set up appropriately for this, but we're going to try it nonetheless. Red hot guys, look at that. It ain't even been that long. We got 300 
54 on pressure. Okay, the whole thing starts to melt down on me. Freaking wow, dude. Here's a hot one. Alright, I'm starting to see sparks. See that? That means we're melting some iron there. It's so close. Ah, oh, shit, we burned a hole through. Okay, we're 11 minutes in and my furnace lid is melting. I, I need something stronger. It fell down onto the burner there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this off or not. All right guys, 14 minutes in and we are melting. I can see that that one side of the piece of cast iron there is deforming. There it goes, it's melting. 16 minutes in and we are officially melting down there. I can see the brake rotor is definitely breaking up. I'm gonna turn the air up. This should get us hotter. See all those sparks coming out? Oh yeah, we just melted guys. Let's see if I can turn this down so you can see it. So, we're about 16 minutes in and that brake rotor is melted. See that? Not all of it, but it's going, it's boiling. Wow, look at that. Check that out. The rock, ooh, I see boiling metal. We have a puddle of boiling metal in there, guys. See that? Look at that. We have a puddle of liquid iron. I don't even think we're 25 minutes in. Let me check. All right, guys, 25 minutes in and the other rotor has melted. You can see the side of it gone. At the top of it, it's sweating. There it goes. I think I'm going to turn the air down just a bit. All right, fellas. So right around this point here, the furnace walls fell in and began to deflect the flame away from that second rotor there. You can see there that um, we do have a little bit of boiling going on right on that edge. You can see it is slowly melting that metal, but now that that block is in the way, you can even see some liquid metal there right to the bottom left. See that little puddle of liquid metal? We're melting brick and everything at this point, and the brick has fallen over and is now pushing the flame away from that rotor. So I end up stopping short here because I can tell the flame's no longer impinging. All right, so my bricks melted and fell directly in the path of the flame. So it's no longer hitting the metal very well. So I don't know how much longer I'm gonna let it run, but uh, it's gonna keep going for now. There is a massive puddle of liquid in there. I can see it. Look at that. We have ourselves a pretty big puddle of molten iron. Whoa, I'm getting hit with sparks. See that? Big old puddle of metal in there. There's a brick right in the damn way.
All right. I just blew a bunch of dirt into the pit. We had a bit of a shield building up. Everything kind of caved in down there. So I went ahead and shut it down. So the furnace caved in on us. It melted the first rotor completely and half of the other rotor. I better pull that out. All right, so that's all we did to the second one because some rocks fell down and shielded it off. It had like a little block going. The other one's completely melted. So is all the rocks and dirt. Pretty incredible. Had that other rock not fallen in front of that, shielding it off, we would have melted it too. So fellas. I don't like to leave things incomplete, but it's dark out. So we're going to check the aftermath in the morning and see what really happened there. And we'll discuss what all took place. And then we're going to try this thing again. Maybe add the oxygen this time. <laughs>